Hey, I'm Dave. I'm the music director of Mamma Mia here at Skylight. I just wanted to give a little tour of my conductor station because uh, there's some cool stuff that uh, you might find interesting if you're uh, into Mamma Mia or just music theater in general. First, I just want to show you the cool views that I get here. Uh, looking up at that ceiling never gets old. Uh, and looking out at that beautiful house is always a joy. Uh, but I also then turn around and I get this sort of uh, foot level view of our stage, our great set. You can see the uh, safety uh, uh, line right there. Uh, so I'm just sort of in the middle of two worlds here. The audience is right behind me and uh, the actors are right in front of me. So here at my station, uh, if I can zoom out to make you see it a little bit better, uh, I have, of course, my keyboard where I'll play everything and there's my score. Um, but if you've got some cool tech that really makes the show sound like it does, um, Mamma Mia relies on a lot of cool samples and um, different synth sounds. Uh, from the 70s that really give it that feel. And we run all of that in main stage, which is the software I have running on this little monitor. Uh, and so for each song, I have a different patch uh, that makes a different sound. Like uh, for instance, here are the oohs that happen during the uh, opening number where Sophie sings for the first time. And I just step all the way through throughout the show, uh, depending on what number I'm in. We also have some click tracks that we run uh, so that the tempos are the same every night. Um, all performers or all the musicians are listening uh, to headphones that are driven by this little guy. This is called an Avion. It's a personal headphone mixer. And each individual musician has one of these and they can control how much of each keyboard they hear, how much bass, how much guitar, drums, and then the click track. The musicians are listening to this little track that just goes beep, beep, beep all the way through the number. Um, sounds like that coming out of the headphones and that helps us keep us uh, helps keep us locked together there are a, a couple of pre-recorded things in this show because there are so many uh, different um, vocal lines um, we just don't have enough actors to sing them all so within the score uh, there are places that we've already recorded the actors singing and then those are triggered out of main stage as well um, by pressing a certain key that actually triggers a recording uh, that then um, you will hear, um, but what you don't know is that we're listening to that metronome click that keeps us all together so that the pre-recorded drift and the live tempo uh, don't um, depart from each other over time. Um, so it's a really cool software. It enables you to have all these great synth sounds and trigger sound effects and things like that all from one little old keyboard. Uh, here is my camera that shows me to uh, both myself and every musician has this so they can see me conducting, giving cutoffs, giving cues. You also look out, they're not on right now, but there are two televisions right there on the, the uh, light rail. Uh, those will also show me during the show so the actors don't have to be looking down here at me, but they can be looking out there at you. There's also a lot of pedal work that goes on in this show. Um, if you're a keyboard player, a piano player, you'll notice this one, this looks normal. That's a sustain pedal. And that just lets sounds ring like on a regular piano. Uh, because it's an electronic instrument and um, sometimes I'm playing strings or synths, there's a volume pedal that I can work with my foot like this. So forward is uh, the loudest it's gonna be and back is soft. And then you can set your volume anywhere in between. To change patches during the show, to change the different sounds of the keyboard, I have this pedal, and that actually, as I press it, um, you can see it's moving through uh, the different patches uh, in the show. Then I've got this little guy. Um, these are a, a bank of three foot switches, and this is where I'm triggering the click track and turning it off. So if I want to start a number, I hit this guy, and if you'll listen to the headphones, One, two, three, four. starts the click off. And then we play the number. If we don't need it anymore, if we've really locked in and there are no pre-records, I can turn it off with that guy. And then there is no more click track. Uh, I've got a keyboard over here to help me control the computer, a um, little built-in mouse, which is really nice. This is an interesting little thing. This is my cue light. Uh, with the stage manager who needs to get a hold of me, they'll uh, sometimes just flash this on and off really quickly. And then I pick up the phone and see what they need. Uh, and they also will use this to cue me when to start the overture, entre act, things like that. Um, so that just sits on the keyboard and I wait for the purple light. 
Here's this little walking tour of the pit from the uh, orchestra perspective. Uh, here's where our guitar player sits. He has this really awesome uh, pedal board, which has a bunch of effects that you'll hear, tremolo, phase, delay, reverb, uh, stuff like that for all the electric stuff. Uh, and then he also has um, an acoustic guitar. So there are four keyboards in the show. I play mine up there where I just was. Uh, and here are two more. And here's our fourth keyboard over here. And they're all basically the same as mine, except for um, they don't uh, trigger any click tracks, but uh, same deal with the pedal setup. This is keyboard four, and uh, this is where Josh has some really cool sounds. He's got mandolin and oboe and this cool under bass uh, synth. I don't know if you can hear that. Here's some headphones. That really adds some punch to our bass player who sits here. He's got a pretty uh, simple pedal rig. Uh, but he, it just gives him a really fat sound on all of these disco beats. And here is where our drummer sits, Mike Lorenz, who has been at Skylight since, well, before I was born. Uh, Mike actually has an AVM like everybody else, but he runs his in a little wireless pack because as a drummer, he's much more uh, physical uh, and uh, having a long headphone wire gets uh, in his way. So he actually has a, a wireless headphone setup. Uh, which is really convenient. And of course, the ever-present sweat towel for our drummer. Just a quick view of the understage rack. This is where all of the instruments plug in, uh, microphones for the drums. Uh, the keyboards actually run on digital audio. They come in over these ethernet things. Uh, these are the AVMs where all of our AVMs will plug into so we can connect to the audio network that way. Here are all of the computers uh, in these racks that actually run all the sounds. You can see each one, key one, two, three, and four. Uh, those are all running uh, in those racks. They're all in one place and neat and tidy. And that is, uh, that's the Mamma Mia Pit. It's not much, but it's home.